On Friday, March 22nd, 2019, World Water Day will be celebrated. This will be the 26th annual event since it was officially launched back in 1993. Although water plays an important role in our daily lives, the celebration is one to cause us to reflect and recognize the many issues that affect us locally and also on a global scale. It is also a day for us to realize the important role we can play to help protect and preserve our water resources. Each year, there is a specific theme. This year's theme is leaving no one behind. This is in the context that billions of people do not have access to safe water for households, schools, farms, factories, etc. The situation is more acute for groups such as women, children, refugees, and indigenous people. The United Nations Assembly has recognized the human right to water and sanitation and acknowledges that clean drinking water and sanitation are essential to the realization of human rights. In St. Lucia, significant strides has been made to supply potable water to the population. This action has been implemented through augmenting water availability and implementing measures to protect water quality. Nevertheless, challenges remain, and we are working diligently to eliminate the situation. Within my ministry, the Water Resource Management Agency, WRMA, the Forestry Department, and Water Sewage Company, Inc., WASCO, continue to work towards further protecting and preserving our water resources. The need to quantify and evaluate the vulnerability of our water resources has become increasingly important, particularly when taking climate change into account. The increased intensity of storm events and the limitation in sources of fresh water make our country highly vulnerable. The unavailability of fresh water is a, limiting, is a limiting factor for economic and social development in our island states like St. Lucia. Despite this, and moving forward, we are incorporating climate change adaptive measures to ensure that no one is left behind in that regard. We have seen the implementation of some major projects such as the John Compton Dam Rehabilitation, the Denry North Water Supply Redevelopment, the Viewfort Water Supply Redevelopment Project, and water improvement projects in many communities, for example, Babono, Miku South, Bhutan, Delce, and Ancillary. The implementation of these projects are in keeping with our strategy towards ensuring that an ever-increasing percentage of our population will enjoy access to safe and consistent supply of water. It is important that we all play our part by appreciating the value of water, practicing water conservation measures, and protecting the environment. In closing, I would like to express my appreciation to the many organizations who have assisted in achieving this theme to have a productive World Water Day. I thank you.